Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to jazz up these hidden line views in Revit. Now I really like these hidden line views even though they're not really realistic, they really tend to show the shape of the building quite well and just by using these tips and tricks that I'm going to be showing you in this video you can make them look amazing. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and this is the project I'm going to be using. This is something I'm currently working with for school. So let's try editing this. So first I'm going to open one of the 3D views. So it's one of these facades and it has kind of an interesting detailing on this facade. So let's kind of dress this up a bit and make it look nicer. So I'm just going to make it a bit wider. And now, as you can see, it's quite dark over here. So we can fix that just by typing in DG or GD, sorry, for graphic display options. And then you need to go here and here you can see we have cast shadows and show ambient shadows but if we open up this lighting drop menu you can see we have these shadows at 63 which is way too much so if I bring that down to I don't know like 15 yeah it looks a lot better so I'm just going to leave it at that and go OK and now the important part of this 3D is this staircase over here. Here I have, as you can see, a spiral staircase and it's an important part of my concept. It's kind of a accent on this facade and I want to kind of enhance that so everyone can see it right away. So I'm just going to hold the control key and select all of these staircases. So select all four of them. I'm going to right click wherever outside, go override graphics in view by element and here for surface patterns, I'm going to go to color and choose this bright red color. And here for the pattern, I'm going to use solid fill. So if I just go apply, you can see now we have this red accent and you can understand what's most important, what's the, the, the accent of this facade. Okay, so we have that done. So let's go into 3D view number two. And as you can see, here I've already done that accent on this part of the building, but I, I really like this view. It's kind of from the right direction, but the only problem is I can't really see my building from all the trees. And I don't really want to remove the trees. First of all, it won't be realistic and then my 3D wouldn't look uh, this wouldn't have the same elements that my floor plans do so that would be wrong but what I can do is I can make him a bit uh, a bit transparent so you can see the building but you also see the tree so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control select all of these trees that are in, in view over here or actually that are kind of skewing my view and then I'm going to right click again go override graphics in view by element and here for surface transparency, I'm just going to bring that down to 40%, like so. And as you can see, the, the, the bad part is they kind of lost shadows. But now we can see our building through these trees, but we still see those trees. So it's an interesting type of a view. And the trees that are in the background, I just leave them as is. And you can do the same thing for this view over here, where we can see this concert hall and the rest of the building and this one I'm going to leave like this I like it kinda in the in the corner of the 3d view so again I'm going to right click overwrite the graphics in view by element and here for the surface transparency let's bring that up a bit and you can see here I've done already before these accent staircases okay so once we have all of our 3ds done I also like to have some really nice looking sections. I think sections can kind of explain the building a lot. So let's go and edit these sections that I have over here. So let's go to the first one. And as you can see, this is just a regular boring section and doesn't really show anything. And all of these lines are horrible. So how do you fix this up? So first, because this isn't really a technical view, we're just showing this for a, as a project for a school and we just want to make it look nice. So first we want to remove all of this annotation. So you just type in VG for visibility graphics. You go to the annotation categories and you just uncheck them all. 
and you go apply ok and it already looks a lot cleaner now the next thing you can do is you can remove this kind of a boundary or crop view when you already set the view you can select it go here in the properties panel and just uncheck its visibility over here so you still have your cropped section but you don't really have these ugly edges around your section okay so now let's turn on some shadows so GD for graphic display options and here I'm just going to turn on the shadows go apply okay and as you can see they're quite dark so again go to lighting and I like to bring this Sun up a bit and bring this down perhaps at 30 let's see yeah this this looks nice okay so one more thing as you can see we like we don't really have any reasonable depth over here yeah shadows add some depth but just by adding here this effect of depth queuing you can get a lot more depth out of your sections and I'll show you how that works so you just show depth you turn that on and you can bring this meter up and as you can see now everything that's in the background it kinda fades away and this allows you to just kinda make bring your camera kinda closer and this brings it far further away so I like to leave that this is I don't know at 40 so you can see this is kinda in in first view these two kind of parts of the building that are cut out and then the rest of it is all white and kind of you can see see the depth a lot better and now for this facade this is kind of the important facade so I'm just going to right click it go override graphics in view by element and here I'm just going to go to surface patterns and change the material or change the color so I'm just going to make it some kind of a faded red I guess go apply yeah and that kinda makes everything look a lot more interesting and I'm going to do the same thing for the second section this looks quite ugly now in comparison to this so again just go VG turn the annotations off go apply then we select this crop view and turn the visibility off then we go with GD or graphic display options turn on the shadows both cast shadows and ambient shadows go apply lighting bring this down to 30 yeah let's let's try something smaller let's try 20 and bring these up a bit as well yeah this looks a lot better now and let's use depth queuing show depth and let's bring this at 30 let's see what that looks like go apply yeah that looks a lot better and here we have this is the facade it's kinda in the back but I would still like to kinda accent it a bit so right click override graphics in view by element go to surface patterns and let's let's kinda ch choose a similar color so go OK apply OK and there you go okay so that's how you jazz up your hidden line views in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.